Since ancient times, sea routes have been employed as the best way of facilitating international trade and transport. Now, with economic globalization, shipping is the ideal solution for the transfer of goods and technologies, as well as a connection between market producer and consumers. The continents are closer, giving the impression that the Earth is indeed flat. We are all part of the global village. The growing demand for international trade has led to a larger fleet of ships, creating the need to update and improve navigational aids, from lighting systems based on lighthouses, as well as beacons, visual, sound and radio systems, to AIS and VTS, VTMIS current systems. In the last decade, the European Union, through its R&D programs, and the current framework agreement Horizonte 2020, has been promoting innovative concepts such as e-maritime, e-freight, or navigation. These concepts are also partly driven by international institutions such as the IMO and IALA. The aim is the elimination or reduction of transit times of goods and associated processes. A single European transport document for all carriages of goods with the development of a single window or single access point and one-stop shopping for administrative procedures in all modes. The integration of existing and new navigational tools, in particular electronic tools, in an all-embracing system that will contribute to enhanced navigational safety while simultaneously reducing the burden on the navigator. E-navigation would thus incorporate new technologies in a structured way and ensure that their use is compliant with the various navigational communication technologies and services that are already available, providing an all-encompassing, accurate, secure and cost-effective system with the potential to provide global coverage for ships of all sizes. In the current framework, ports form a critical part of the transport logistics chain. In order to reinforce its infrastructure and encourage its management, GMV has developed different tools under the name ShipLocus, forming a family of products for the operation of the AIS, radar, meteorological and oceanographical GONIO sensors, VHF communications, earth observation tools, CCTV and thermal camera data allowing integration into applications, services and port operational environment. The control centre is located within the port premises with local operators providing a cornerstone of management and control of the movement of the different ships in their territorial waters. Also in the port area, there are multiple actors who interact daily at the highest level of understanding in their transactions. Several built-in tools within the Ship Locus family seek to address all these needs. The buoys and beacons for guiding ships safely through the waterways, identifying dangerous or controlled areas, and giving directions and information are an essential element and their continuous operation must be guaranteed at all times. The tools of control and remote monitoring of GMV allow administrators to monitor these features with the highest level of availability while the resource's efficiency is increased. AIS A to N devices allow the display of certain aids to navigation as an element of the AIS system allowing for remote monitoring and control. AIS systems can be integrated to aid navigation with the Coastal Transmission Network's understanded DGPS, IALA and RTCM. Over the past decade, GMV has had extensive experience in this field with past projects related to the development and deployment of such systems.